hey queens and kings welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning so today i will be giving you guys a tour of my simple glam guest bathroom if you queens and kings would like to see how i style and decorated this bathroom please go ahead and continue to watch Okay, queens and kings, so we're going to start right here at the door. The flowers are from Walmart as well as those little bling crystals that in there is from the at-home store. Now, the mirror vase that the flowers in as well as these two cerulean teal um, color vases are from Z Gallery. Now, the bling in between there is actually did not post a go there. It just was a, um, it is a DIY slash revamp of mine that I did here on the Glamorous Castle. And the paper towel holder is from the Dollar Tree. And I decided to place a large paperweight bling just on the side of the sink. Just to be a little extra. I was going to put some inside the sink too. But I was like, no, nah, Val, we ain't going to do that. But anyways, this little DIY tray here. Yes, DIY tray that I have done on my channel, which I will link down below. The towels are from the Roses store. And the bling toothbrush holder and pump there is from Home Goods. Now let's move on over here over my toilet. I didn't put nothing over the toilet besides some towels. Just a simple look. Um, the colors that are in the bathroom, obviously. Um, the towels are from Walmart. Besides the deep teal, it's from the Roses store, like I said before. Now over the towel rack, um, I decided to put this big old large bling that I purchased from Burlington a while back. Just to hide that little ugly fan back there so it won't be an eyesore. Now on this wall here... When you step into the bathroom, this will be the first thing you see once you open the door because it's the wall directly from the door. Um, I placed on here are some revamped sconces of mine that I have done in this beautiful large Oliver Gal canvas that I purchased from Burlington. I just love the way that it's looking, all the colors tied in, and it takes up that wall. So moving along to my gorgeous 96-inch velvet teal curtains that i purchased from tjmax.com last year um, i like the way that these flow i like the way that they feel the reason i hung them up so high all because you guys should know by now design 101 basically hanging your curtains up high so it can give you a taller feeling in the room or whatever and it's an eyesore bring it up so but i love the way how they drape and hit the floor and on this full wood floor i just love how the contrast of the colors look with these deep charcoal bathroom mats that i purchased from walmart so yeah i just love the way that that look now just moving on back on up the curtains or whatever these blings here i actually also purchased from burlington they come three in a pack but you seen that starburst little diy that i had over there by the vases that's the third one so yeah and also my curtain hooks came from burlington as well i decided to put a sheer or uh, clear um shower curtain up just to make the bathroom open up and feel larger i didn't want it to feel so close in so now i'm just giving you guys an overview once again of the bathroom from different angles so at this time queens and kings if you guys enjoyed the video Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Let me know what you liked about it. Was it too much bling, not enough bling, or bad, just enough? Me, personally, I feel like it was just enough because you don't want it to do too much bling. Then I have mirrors, so you know that consider as being bling too. And by have this big mirror in the bathroom that which opened the bathroom up more, I felt like I could get away with the blings that I did bounce around the room. So, if you're considered to be a part of the Glamorous Castle and Decor, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Also, share with your family and friends and loved one. And you guys, like I said, don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment bar. So with that being said, queens and kings, always do what you're afraid to do. And you all know that's in a positive way. And I will talk to you queens and kings in the next video. Bye.